Welcome back to Mommy's channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Inhale, keep your flow going. Exhale, love to hear the out breath. Let it go. Look at that juice will take a top. Breathe in here. Those shoes supposed to be downstairs, pumpkin. <laughs> you silly. Yeah, I went to yoga. <laughs> huh? You want to watch learning numbers? Where the remote? Oh. Yeah. Let me tell you something. The world does not stop for you just because your due date is today. It does not stop. As bad as you want it to, it just don't stop. And that's literally the hardest part of being pregnant. It just the world does not stop just because you're supposed to be having a baby today. Here, let me open it. Where's your applesauce? Especially when you have a toddler. Because. Okay. Here you go, baby. Okay, go watch Sesame Street. It just don't stop for you. Because I still have to make this breakfast and mine. My husband has a job to do. He got him up this morning. But he's not on paternity leave yet. He still got to work. And I be feeling bad. I know I'm, I, I shouldn't feel bad, but I do. I feel bad for having to ask him to do so much. But again, the world doesn't stop because your, your baby is supposed to come out of your belly today. How do I feel? I want to lay down. Actually, I want to have this baby. That's how I feel. No more applesauce, Chase. Mommy got your breakfast right here. Yes, right here. Chase, go sit down, please. been in a bed for over two hours I just I've been on edge all day being over nine months pregnant catering to a toddler is just not easy and 
typically I have the best patience in the world. Like I have, I'm not a, I'm not an impatient person, especially when it comes to my kid. But my patience was paper thin today. And I was on edge and I was trying not to be mean, but it was just, I just couldn't help it. Every three seconds, mom, 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 hey, mom, hey, mom, hey, mom. I'm like, son, I just want you to sit down and eat. Just sit down and eat. No, he got to run around. He got to jump on the couch. He got to be a ghost under the blanket. He got to, oh my goodness. So anyway, I asked Corey if he had any meat, any more meetings. He said no. So he went downstairs and I came upstairs and I kind of like laid across the bed and was crying for a minute. And then I just hate crying. Like physically, it just, it stuff you up. It get you a headache, your eyes be burning. Don't nobody feel like that crying shit. So I've been like trying to avoid taking a bath. Because it's fine to take a bath while you're pregnant as long as it's not too hot. But I don't take hot baths anyway. So I've just been avoiding taking a bath because I don't know. I don't know, honestly. But don't nothing calm me down like water. And two hours later, I just I feel better. I feel better. So I'm about to take a shower. Because why would you take a bath and not take a shower? I'm about to take a shower. I have to straighten my hair all over again. Because even though my baths don't be super hot, they be hot enough. They be warm enough. And it increases my body heat. And then I be sweating from the scalp. So I got to I have my hair tucked in this right now, but... I got to straighten it all over again. And then I'm going to probably make me something to eat and sit out on the balcony because I think it's like 65 degrees. I was going to go for a walk, but my pelvic hurt. <laughs> and yeah, I know walking is supposed to help get the baby out, but my house got three flights of steps. And if I go for a walk, I'm going for a walk around the lake, which is not far, but I'm going to just sit up on the balcony. Ain't no walk. Ain't no just because walk. He been in here moving the whole time, which I'm sure it feel good to like for him. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know what it feel like, but the best thing about being in the water is that you don't feel pregnant. As soon as I get out, I'm going to be heavy. I'm going to be uncomfortable. But it's time to get out because my water is cold now. I mean, honestly, I could be in here for another hour. That's what I mean when I say I don't take hot baths at all. Like, if somebody was to fill my bath water right now, it would be like, girl, this cold-ass bath, bath water, but... It feels good to me. <sighs> I need some fresh air though. I'm just so ready to have this baby. I honestly, genuinely was not expecting this baby to be late this time. Chase was 11 days late. I was not expecting this baby to be late. But here we are. Just tardy for the party. I don't even care. I hope he still come doing Black History Month though. We got. I don't even care if he come on the leap day at this point. Just come. Just come. Where you come? Where you come? Where you come? Like church. <laughs> Just come. Uh, all right. Tuesday, February 27th, a day past my 
anticipated due date. And I'm sitting in my new rocking chair. Um, I like this rocking chair a lot. And how do I feel emotionally? Emotionally, I feel fine. I, I, I just, I feel fine, whatever. Physically, <laughs> people be like, how do you feel? How you doing? I don't know how to answer that. Like, I just feel very pregnant. This feel good. I feel very pregnant and I'm ready. I'm very ready. And it's like, you know, knowing that this is something that could happen literally at any moment. And so, you know, I'm trying not to be anxious, but I'm just, I just, I, I said it before. I don't think I said it to you, but like, it's like when Verizon has to come uh, perform a service at your house and they give you this window, like, yeah, we'll be there between 11 and 5. And you just sit in there between 11 and 5, waiting and waiting and waiting. Yeah, it feel like that. <clears throat> it's like you put your plans to the side because you like, I know they're going to come at some point. And then 5 o'clock shows <laughs> and they don't come or call. Yesterday, being my due date, that was 5 o'clock. That was time's up. What's up? Where y'all at? I'm trying not to be anxious in anticipation. And I'm trying to just, like, do what I can because I'm just heavy and uncomfortable. Like, my pelvic is very uncomfortable. Rolling over, literally, from side to side. I didn't get much of any sleep yesterday. Rolling over from side to side, like I can low key feel my my pelvic bone, like it makes a noise, like crack a little bit. I know that sounds crazy, but like it not crack pops. I don't know if that helps, but it like pops every time I like if I roll over to the right side, the left side pops. If I roll over to the left side, the right side pops. So I have to be very careful careful when I'm rolling over to sleep and I just I didn't get much sleep normally honest with you to be honest with you I sleep on the couch um but I be missing my husband and last night I slept in the bed because I just wanted to sleep up under him even though I ain't get no sleep <laughs> um because the bed is just I think the bed is like too soft and it's I, I don't know what it is but it's just not that comfortable for me and when I sleep on the couch downstairs I crack the window and I get like this good, cool, cold breeze because, you know, being pregnant, your nostrils be inflamed. Also, if I lay on my left side, my nostrils are clear. If I lay on my right side, my nostrils can be stuffed up. So, yeah, it's a lot. I'm just, I'm ready to meet my, my second son and I'm ready for my first son to meet my second son. Um, my first son <laughs> is just the coolest little thing ever. He's so sweet and so cool. And he's just a ball of energy. And I can't, <laughs> I can't support a ball of energy right now. I can't cater to that. And that's what, that's what makes it really difficult for me is because I love playing with Chase and being around Chase. I'm about to cry. <laughs> but his energy is a lot for me right now. And I have all the patience in the world. Like all the patience in the world. But my patience is so thin right now. That I really just have to seclude myself. Because me and his dad could be in the same room with him. And guess who he coming to? Every time. It don't matter. He's coming to his mom. 
he like he's coming to his mom and i'm not mad at that like you know mom let's do yoga that's that's yoga let's play yoga let's exercise let's run let's get our sillies out sit on the floor with me let's color let's do puzzles let's play farm animals ordinarily i'm all for that but i'm tired of having to say no like mommy can't do that mommy can't run right, right now mommy can't sit on the floor right now <sighs> It actually sounds like he's coming up here. He is. I just finished eating my breakfast. What do you want to finish for? Huh? What do you want to finish? I'm finished. What do you finish for? I'm finished eating my breakfast. Okay. What did you eat? I had waffles and hash browns and oh. eggs. Okay. It was yummy. Yeah. <laughs> What you was doing? I was, I was exercising. You was exercising? Yes. Okay. I was, I was, I was looking, I was looking at you, mommy. You was looking at me? Yes. Oh, no way. Oh, yes, way. <laughs> you going to the gym with that? Oh, thank you. You come going on. to, come here. You going to the gym with dad? Yes. You are? Yeah. You going to play basketball? Mm -hmm. All right. That's your book right there. That's my book. What's, what book is this? Bear and Squirrel Friends. Bear and Squirrel Friends. You want to read it? Yeah. Come Can on. We... You want to sit up here and read it with me? No. Oh, all right. Well, here. You want to take it? No. Oh. What? You like it? Yeah, your lips dry, man. <laughs> hey, Go get the moisturizer off the table over there. It's okay? Okay. Did you eat your hash brown? Yes. Did you eat, did you eat your oatmeal? Yes. Do you see what I mean, man? He's literally the best thing ever. <laughs> He's the best thing ever. And, like, I'm just ready to be able to be mobile again and agile. <laughs> And I can't wait for him to meet his brother. And I can't wait for his brother to meet him. <sighs> so I am. I'm anxious. And I'm excited. And honestly, I can't wait to give birth. Like, I can't wait for the pro like to be in the process. And I just hope that I can have... The same or a very close similar outcome to what it was like birthing him. So, another day of hurry up and wait. So far today though, mo mobility wise, I put my clothes in the washing machine. I'm about to go put them in the dryer. And I made myself breakfast. Corey got Chase up this morning and he took him downstairs and he made him his breakfast. He made him oatmeal and hash browns this morning. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much, I'm up here in the room just kind of hanging out. Um. I think they're going to go to the gym in a little while. Corey be going to the gym to play basketball two days a week. And the past like month or so, he he been taking Chase, which has been helpful. Even though Chase typically is his nap time while Corey goes to play basketball, it's still it's helpful that Corey takes him to the gym because he gets some outside time. And, um... He just skips a nap two days out the week. So I'm about to put these clothes in the dryer and edit some more vlogs. I can say that's what I've been getting. I've been knocking those out. I've been ed ed editing these vlogs. I 
I've been drinking my water and editing these vlogs. So that's probably what I'm going to do. And I'm going to probably like try to clean up the room some some more. We keep like every day we get into a, a state where it's like, you know how you got to mess it up in order to clean it up? <laughs> yeah. We've been going through that a lot because we've been decluttering, reorganizing. And every day we clean it up to make it, you know, presentable enough to where like, Yes, baby. You got something special for me? Yeah. Okay. Oh wow, you got your you got your friends, your toys? Yeah. Okay. Alright, take it back downstairs. I take it back downstairs. Or you gonna stay down here and play? You gonna stay up here and play? No. Or you gonna take it downstairs? I can't take it downstairs. You gonna stay here? No. So what you gonna do? You can't play that. That's not a toy. It is a toy. Mommy gave you what you can play with already. You can play with those circles. I can play with those. All right. I don't think I showed you where I'll be giving birth, but this is the room. Last time I gave birth in Chase's room upstairs in his nursery. And that was before, like, the crib and everything was set up. But now it's obviously Chase's room. And this is our third bed. This is our third bedroom, which is all the way downstairs. So this is where it'll be going down. So we put the tub up a few weeks ago. Got some vibes over here. Chase's ball that doesn't belong. <laughs> um, And then... Some of the birthing kit things that my midwife will need when it's time. Um, I just need to bring in, I wanted to put some curtains up, but I don't feel like it. I have the curtains, I have the rod, I just don't feel like putting it up. And I'm going to have a scarf if it's nighttime. I'm going to have a scarf over top of the lamp to dim down the lamp a little bit, the brightness. And then I just need to get a sheet. I need to bring a sheet downstairs and a couple towels because I don't think I'm going to be able to walk to my room immediately after I have the baby. Like when I had Chase... I birthed him in the pool. I sat in the pool for a few minutes. Then I got out and carried him to my room and sat on the bed, laid on the bed, and then birthed my, um, delivered my placenta like a few minutes later. And I don't foresee me walking upstairs to do that. So. I need to get like a towel, like towels and sheet and a blanket so that when I get out the pool, I can just transfer over to the bed and lay down and, you know, be skin to skin with the baby and then deliver the, the placenta, get the baby all cleaned up and that type of stuff. So, yeah, but this the room. This is where it's going down. Any day now. <laughs> Just ready. The couch obviously was going this way. And Corey moved the couch that way. And put the pool here. So, yeah. That's it. Huh? I got to send you a I just finished I just finished taking pictures 
I wanted to recreate some pictures I took when I was pregnant with Chase. And I did. And now I'm about to get in the shower and wash my face. But I've decided that I'm going to do my makeup exactly like this every day until the baby comes. Because look how pretty I am. I'm going to do that for myself. Every day until the baby comes, I'm going to, even if I don't get dressed, even if I just be in pajamas, I'm still going to do, do my makeup like this every day until the baby comes. I mean, look at the look at the brows. No. Okay, don't worry about it. Just know that that is happening. Yeah. Mark my words. <laughs> Chase, that's not really what I was going for, man. Dang, Chase. I did it. All right, go put that in the trash. Just try one bite. <laughs> oh, look at all the food. Yeah. What you see? You love french fries. What's that? Mm -hmm. What's that? Mm -hmm. What's that? I don't know. That's a bar. That's a bar. Mm -hmm. I want a new bar. <laughs> a new bar? Yeah. Okay. Number one, no more ice cream sundaes for breakfast. Green ones and red ones. Carrots. Yep. What's that? Broccoli. Uh-huh. What's that? Kale. Lettuce. Lettuce. What's that? Tomato. Mm-hmm. What's that one? Onion, that's an onion. Onion? And cucumber. Cucumber. Yes. What they doing? You did that, remember? Yeah. What they doing? They taking out. The apples? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. Apple. Remember when you picked apples? Yeah. To the farm? At the farm, yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. What's inside? Come here. Okay. Let's move inside. Ah. What is it? It's... it's <laughs> you like it? <laughs> that's for the left foot. Yep, that's the that's the left foot. And, well, you got your firefighter jacket on. Go show dad. You gonna go show, show dad? Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Look at mommy. Ooh. You go walk up the steps so you can see in the mirror. You see him? Yeah! <laughs> you like him? And the rain jacket and the umbrella and the rain hat. Yeah, we gotta get you your rain jacket. So it's day three, past my past my due date. And first of all, remember when I said that I was gonna put makeup on every day until the baby came? I don't know why you sat up here and let me tell you that bold face line, knowing damn well that that was not gonna happen. It sounded good, but girl, no. Um, but I haven't been out the house in, I don't know, quite a few days. 
so I just took a shower and I'm about to I'm on my way to the post office because I gotta send my god brother something and I am going to I gotta drop a return off at the UPS store and then I'm going to Popeye's because while I don't eat Popeye's I've been wanting Popeye's for the past week and I've succumbed to my temptations I'm going to I'm going to get Popeye's I'm going to get a fish sandwich and I want wings and fries and a biscuit and a regular strawberry biscuit I mean a regular biscuit and a strawberry biscuit so that's what I'm going to get and I'm going to enjoy it and I'm not going to regret it but yeah I just been in the house waiting and not because not because like I'm waiting anxiously like I don't want to do anything in anticipation of the baby come coming more so because like it just physically it don't feel good to like move around too much i told you i already have more than enough stairs in my house so if i'm in my room then i'm in my room for a long time because i'm not i'm not about to keep going up and down the steps if i'm in the living room then i'm in the living room for a long time i'm i i be tired of being in the house but at the same time my pelvics be hurting my pelvics be uncomfortable like right now and I have on the I have on my belly belt but and that helps that helps a lot don't get me wrong it does it helps a lot but I'm on slurpee too but I, I'm gonna just stay I'm gonna stick to to one unhealthy thing I'm gonna chill on the slurpee but yeah I'm just it feel good to be outside honestly and this Popeyes is not a drive through so I gotta go in. I gotta go into the post office. I gotta go into the UPS store. But it's enough for the day. Plenty, actually. So that's what Big Mama doing right now. Running these little errands. I really need to go to Trader Joe's, but I ain't doing that. Corey and Chase can do that. My Trader Joe's days is over until up until you know until after the baby come. I ain't going to nobody grocery store. My thing is, when did, when did, um, Popeye's get so damn high? I spent $20. I got a three-piece dinner, um, with a frozen lemonade. This shit sweet as hell. I dilute all my drinks, so this shit mad sweet. A three-piece dinner with a frozen lemonade, a biscuit. A strawberry, a strawberry biscuit, and a flounder sandwich with no tartar sauce, extra pickle. Twenty-one dollars and some change, and I ain't even get no fries or nothing. Which I'm like, damn, where my other side at? I thought it came with like a side and a biscuit, but it's fine because I was gonna go home and make some broccoli anyway. But jeez, Louise. And that's my bestie, my bestie, my best friend. Go best friend. Okay, so they tried it because I said no tartar, extra pickle. And this thing definitely got tartar sauce on it. And I'm disgusted by it. But I've been wiping it off. Um, And I do actually have fries. I got fries. I didn't realize it was in this bag. My fries. My strawberry biscuit. And my wings. 
This position right here is the worst. Come on, baby, you gotta move, cause this is the worst.